It's Tuesday of Utah week, and this is Quick Hits with Keeley, presented by Smart Stop Cell Storage. USC and Utah will meet for the third time in just over a year this Saturday. Head coach Lincoln Riley previewed the matchup on Tuesday, praising Utes head coach Kyle Whittingham and his program. You can tell they've been in that system for a long, 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 long time, and they've recruited for that system for a long, 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 long time, and they, they do a tremendous job of it. And so, uh, you know, it gets a group that's going to be overly aggressive. you got to make some of your big plays, too. Uh, we were able to to do that quite a bit in the first game. We did it at times during the second game last year, but this is gonna be a new challenge. You know, we got some new personnel, they got some new personnel. It's, it's a fun group to match up with against. It's, I have a lot of respect for them. I, I, I enjoy, and I, you know, playing against really good defenses, uh, you know, really good coordinators, really good players, they got all three. When it comes to USC's offensive woes, Riley shared that his coaching staff will deliberate this week whether it's best to make a personnel change at offensive line. The head coach shared, however, that the ultimate key to success on offense is to play together as one cohesive unit. Obviously, I think this is where playing some of those guys early like we did in the season and getting some different lineups experience um, gives you some potential options if you feel like you want to make a personnel change. And we'll, and we're going to evaluate that this week um, and see if that's the right thing. But I think the bigger thing for us is we just got to get back to playing more 11-man ball. There's a lot of good on the tape, but there's not the results have not consistently been there because there's not been a lot of 11-man ball uh, offensively um, in the first half against Arizona and then for obviously big portions of the game against Notre Dame. Utah quarterback Cam Rising has yet to see the field this season due to injury, but the possibility of him suiting up on Saturday is still plausible. Defensive coordinator Alex Grin shared how his defense is preparing for the Utes. You kind of assume at some, at some point, you know, he's going to be out there. Is it going to be this Saturday? I don't know. But, um, you know, of all the quarterbacks in the country, you know, that, that, you know, not that it was his job to earn our respect, but he most certainly did. And so got the utmost respect for him. And, uh, um, you know, obviously the guys in, in his place have done, done a nice job and, and found a way to win a bunch of ball games. But uh, um, no, it, it uh, will be a major challenge who's ever gone center. But uh, certainly he's one of those guys you circle going into the year. A lot can be said about how a team attacks the practice week after its first loss of the season. Nickel Jalen Smith shared how his peers have responded so far this week. I think I just seen fire. I think I seen an anger in everyone's eyes, man. I think everyone's ready to get back to work. And that was the, the goal of this week for practice, and especially this Tuesday. I just think everyone flew around and, you know, to make plays and was excited to be out here, man. And I think that was the ultimate jump from that last week. You know, just, just the energy thing and just, you know, being ready to play. That's going to wrap it up for Quick Hits with Keeley. USC's next open practice is on Wednesday, so stay tuned for updates.